No, no. <clears throat> 3rd of February 2024. So, it's Saturday night and the song is, I just want to use your love tonight. So, if you don't want to get used, be careful. We've got the last. Oh. Um, the Betch. Beth. We've got Pisces, second house of Taurus and Mercury. So communications, uh, victims, martyrs. So being used seems to be the theme. So be careful it's not you. If it's you doing it, don't do it. It's not fair, it's not right. Here we go. So you might get messages by the internet, you might um, get phone calls, trying to uh, get you to make mistakes. Let's see. But when I've written the song up, it may be something totally different. I had a bit of a blip yesterday. I was going to do, start the uh, monthlies. I'll do them today, I think. Um, had a bit of vertigo, so. Woke up very dry. Let's have a look. So this card is the mother energy, so you've got a mum in spirit, she might be trying to tell you something. Hopefully she's in the upright because we don't want her in the reverse. Um, but let's see. And there she is in the sweet spot thankfully upright absolutely brilliant so growing as a person as a soul agriculture the military may the 31st november the 11th um, all could be true mother earth happiness the return of happiness and abundance Let's see, how are we going to get there? And there's the communication. So communication comes in. A message. The checks in the mail, the postman, child maintenance, um, gifts come in, any or all of those. Child in uniform or immature energy in uniform. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got second house there of Taurus. So, the postman. A large sum of money. Uh, secure and happy retirement with a loyal um, person by his side. He's born in the year of the dog, could be important. 
that there are health issues. Hospital doors. Two dogs, two snakes. So those years could be important. Chucking yourself into um, material matters so that you don't concentrate on what really counts. Only three things that spirit think are valuable. That's love, health and happiness. And you're turning your back on that. You're um, chucking yourself into the mundane things. There's unfinished business here. The Sagittarius. We've got Virgo there. Uh, the intestines, the abdomen, hospital doors, nurses, doctors. 9 or 27. Sagittarius. Um, or Sagittarius Cusper. Early Sagittarius is Scorpio. Late Sagittarius is Capricorn. Not Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius. Um, so it's unfinished business. Acting in haste, repenting at leisure. And like I said, one night stands. Which puts us in a nightmare situation. We are growing from this. We are at a crossroads. We need to take the path less travelled. The one we don't want to take. We are emotionally um, out of control. Possibly drinking if you're a female. Or if you're um, a Scorpio energy. You might have more Scorpio in your chart than your sun sign. Your sun sign could be Pisces, but you may have more Scorpio in your chart than that. So, um, it's not filling your own cup. It's not looking after yourself. And you need to do that, especially health-wise. There's something that may return that you thought was settled, but it isn't. Unfinished business. Could be issues with the mother, the reproductive organs or shared resources. Uh, so in this case, I would say the reproductive organs, an issue there. So if you're waiting for a message from mum in spirit, she may be passed with cancer of the womb or the ovaries, whatever, or intestinal issues. Yeah, judgment day has arrived. You now have to destroy something to rise like the phoenix. You have grown from this. It's time to settle this outstanding problem, a long-standing problem, and make a fresh start. It could be geriatric issues with the mother, like I said. It could be teeth, dental issues. It could be issues with the abdomen for anybody or the reproductive organs. Number 20 is positive. Um, the name Joshua could be important. It's time to walk away from the misery of the past. Leave it behind. Um, and set out on a new journey. Again, the large windfall of money. Uh, which would be a blessing. For some though, this communication does not arrive. <coughs> Same person. A child, an immature energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, or someone is being blocked. So someone may communicate who you haven't talked to for a very long time. Someone's taking action. Um, this is the Ron Seal man. He does what he says he's going to do. He's taking action. Aries, energy. Late Pisces, early Taurus. Um, fond memories of the past, reminiscing about um, the glory days, uh, the grandparents. Now we have the mother of the child or the mother. It's the man of arcana of today's card. She is a generous, warm, giving friend. She is secure and financially and emotionally. She is always reliable. Taurus energy again. Early Taurus is Aries. Late Taurus is um, Gemini. Communication. And stop crying over spilt milk. Your attention was elsewhere. You didn't see something coming. Um, it's 
the blame shame game don't carry that about leave the misery behind forget it but there is a real chance of fire and now we have the major arcana of that gentleman there so we've got mother and father energy um health issues a need to have self-esteem perhaps have a makeover but this is a rebirth that is trying to take place um, destroying the ash for destroying things from the ashes and um, the phoenix will rise so <coughs> Government officials, bosses, father figures, um, soulmates because the emperor and the empress belong together, the empire, material things, but no love. Yeah, somebody has to be independent. Stand on their own two feet. Even within a relationship, they need to be financially and emotionally stable in their own right. Um, they have everything that is required. Some will become single. Coming off the fence and not being too proud to ask for help anymore. Not spreading yourself too thin anymore. Not spinning all those plates with an trying to catch them when they fall um it's making a decision there is the demanding leo again it could be uh, a female demanding financially um the violets the flowers the violet the name elizabeth william dennis um and bonnie uh, she will scream and scream and scream until she's sick if she doesn't get what she wants. The drama queen. Yeah, there is no love in this situation. Um, there could have been a failed pregnancy. It could have been a termination. Because of this one night stand even. That's just for a few of you. Justice will be served fairly. Number 11, Libra Energy. Partnerships, the reproductive organs again. The lions, <coughs> marital her, open enemies. You're no longer banging your head against a brick wall and wasting your time. You're coming home to who you truly are. It could literally be a homecoming. Apologies will be needed. Um, healing needs to take place. Money and finances are improving, slow and steady. It's Chiron, it's healing, so... Hospital visits, perhaps. Um, it's crowds, it's agriculture, so the farmers' disputes. Um, it's those with the scar, the lump, or the amputation. The bees, Manchester, the bombers. Somebody of a daft complexion. It's all over this read in uniform. So different generations of the same family. And there she is, finally, filling her own cup, putting herself on a priority list, looking after herself, overcoming the alcohol addictions or the depression, ending this chapter to begin a new one. Travel to the object of your desire, be the persons, things or events. 21. Uh, the World Wide Web. So communication is possible. So we haven't had this one. I don't know if it's ever, but we haven't had it for a very long time. So it must be important. Berkana, birth, living things, especially vegetation, the mud, mother goddess. So there we go. Well done, spirit. The empress. Demeter. The queen. The ruler of her own empire. The swan. 
So it's the single swan, which is divorced or widowed women, perhaps. Um, the rune is feminine. The motherhood, domesticity, protectiveness, um, breasts. Its animal symbol includes the she-bear, which is Virgo, and the graceful swan, which is usually um, Aquarius. In human terms, wise women, herbalists and healers are also indicated by this rune. However, the name of the rune at Bacana literally means birch tree, so the name Beth. So we've had Elizabeth twice and healers twice. Um, although it is symbolic with the fair tree of all types so the birch is capricorn what was the other one the fair tree that's not on here so it probably be Pine, which is Libra, which is mentioned also. Growing things and connections to agriculture, what did I say? Well done, spirit. As might be imagined with such a feminine rune, its mythology derives from the stories of several North goddesses. Prominent amongst these was Frigga, the goddess of the spinning wheel, so change of fate, and the wife of Odin, Wednesday who has been previously encountered with the runes Wunja and Pertha. Frigga was the patroness of women, especially those in labour or caring for infants, of marital fidelity and family harmony. Fiercely protective of her own children, she nevertheless found time to care for the offsprings of others too. So you may be um, a nursery nurse, uh, working in kindergarten, etc. In one of her aspects, um, she guarded the souls of the young children. It is interesting to note that in the past, if a marriage ceremony was thought to be too expensive, the union could still be recognised if the prospective bride and groom jumped over the birch twig together. So, elopement. The symbolism of the birch twig broom leads us to the medieval tradition of witchcraft because of the old stories a witch and her broom were rarely parted. It may be that brooms did indeed play a role in a half-remembered matriarchal pagan cult that survived into recent history. This could be especially significant since women accused of being witches were often local healers and midwives. So midwifery, um, failed pregnancies, medical matters. The rune is of new beginnings. It indicates good news, birth, fertility and a time of family rejoicing such as weddings. This rune is a link with the birch tree and agriculture. In general, shows that a time of personal growth is on its way. This may involve material or domestic, or by far the most likely possibility, spiritual affairs, because Berkana is also associated with intuition, the higher self and your sole purpose on this earth, but you're ignoring it because you've got your back to it. Um, as a more specific indicator, Berkana suggests that a new project is getting off the ground but will need rigorous care and attention if it is to thrive, much as a human infant needs the loving care of its mother in order to thrive and develop. Traditionally, Bacana relates to women's issues, particularly to fem feminine health and the care of infants. In its upright position, the rune can be regarded as a good omen that denotes proper growth and development. If your question is about health, the appearance of Berkana symbol, natural regenerative powers and the raising of the spirits as a sense of well-being returns. Worry and family news is often indicated when Berkana is inverted. The health of a relative is the most usual reason for this anxiety. There is a hint that a celebration will be cancelled or at the very least indefinitely postponed. If health is not the issue under examination, then the inverted Berkana indicates that you are on course and you that will lead you nowhere so you must walk away 
you will find that since all doors are closed to you at present, it will be necessary to cut your losses and return to square one. Rebuild. So, um, especially if it was your mum's birthday due or she passed just before her birthday, that could have a, a bearing on the read. Um, somebody may communicate that they can't attend a celebration. Um, so we've got Second House of Taurus, Truth. Um, the Neck, the Throat. And today's card is Taurus. So Banks, the Green, the Material World, Wealthy Worldly Goods. <coughs> Somebody is chucking herself into work to try and ignore the issue. Where has he gone? The Hermit, 9 or 27. Worldly goods, personal resources, possessions, security, values, self-worth, material values and spending. So that goes back to the shared resources, doesn't it? Um, and we've got Pisces in Mercury. Mercury and Pisces, sorry. Intuitive communications, imaginative, impressionable, gullible, deceptive and unfocused. Mercury in Pisces has definite is difficulty, sorry, with boundaries and confuses emotions with thoughts. So remember the song. Um, they just want to use your love tonight. Don't fall for it. Yeah, the sun can be um, Leo. It is the number one. It is um, putting yourself on a priority list. Don't go too far and be selfish. Um. Number 19, be important. It's your soul, and your soul is needed to grow. We've got the grandmother energy, Martha and Graham. There is a vitality, a life force, an energy, a quickening. So some of you may be at the 12-week stage of pregnancy. That is translated through your actions, and because there is only one of you in all time, this expression is unique. Um, this is an encouraging spin to any reading. The sun is all that is good. It is the positivity that trumps anything negative. All eyes are on you. Have the strength and power to get things done. All things that are truly meaningful are starting to happen now. You are now in a place to lead and inspire. It is through the sun's inspiration and creativity that you will enable to make things materialise. This may be at the front of a group or on a stage or just the way you lead with confidence. The sun card gives you an emphatic yes to the reading. Another meaning behind this card is that the summer months will be relevant. So I think that's more important, the summer months. Um, this may be when the wish for event occurs. Parties, which we've already talked about, uh, fun, children and child-led adults all figure in. This card also implies an aptitude for acting, so drama queen, or just a period where dramatic ability and creative leadership could greatly benefit your mission. You may find yourself singled out, perhaps in a dramatic situation where you show your skills in some impromptu way, such as giving a speech or teaching a class. It's also a time of generosity and laughter. The spotlight will shine on your life. What you are doing is being noticed. If you're not used to it, you may react with aloofness. Avoid foolishness, avoid immaturity and any lack of organisation. Or the matter could fall apart at the seams. But all in all, this is a progressive energetic card and foretells prodigious things on the horizon. This card indicates that matters will be going your way, but leadership on your part is necessary. It's time to act and take your place in the sun. Don't dim your light. Oh, you can't make it up. Again, the number one. One, one. So it could be, if we got another one, it would be one, 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 which is the uh, UK's um, non-emergency line. So, but otherwise it's number 11, which is justice. So, 
the number one again that oak doorway that we're walking through so wherever it is on the courthouse or the hospital um the Dara knot, the knot is said to represent the root system of the oak, symbolizes strength, endurance, and wisdom. Um, enter the world of the fair, the mighty oak, the gateway to the other world. It is known as the doorway, the threshold between worlds. So somebody may have passed on. Um, it's the guardian. The oak door is often used to access the fairy realm and journey to other worlds. Do not take this lightly. The oak energy is very powerful. You must always walk this path with a pure heart and truth. If you don't, you simply won't be given access. Spirit can see the heart of your soul. There is no escaping or trying to do some, be something you're not. Whenever you're in need of strength and stability, call on the oak. Are you taking too much on and struggling on regardless? It may be time where you need to realise your limits and be gentle on yourself. The oak is about endurance. But you have to look at what costs if you don't want to be drained. Oak will help you move from the stagnant place or show you that you are moving just ever so gently towards your goal. Slow and steady. Wherever that night in there he is. Slow and steady. Just as the acorn slowly becomes the tree, continues to grow at slow and steady pace. The acorn energy is also great to call on for fertility, what does I say? Of any kind, and I did spill milk today, so somebody's gonna have a baby. Um, and new ideas and projects. Lastly, the oak is invaluable when in need of answers or seeking information. Remember its connection to the ancestors and call on the collective wisdom to guide you when you're lost or in need of clarity. Oak will help you sift through the overwhelming amount of knowledge available to us and give you exactly what you need at the right time. So watch out for the messages from spirit, the coincidences, the overheard conversations, bumping into someone you haven't seen for a while. Birds, animals, insects. Um, will come up as animal terms, numbers on a clock, etc. So, and in 27, 16, the Shadow Queen. You can't deny the um, similarities. The 16 is negative. Something is coming back, unfinished business from the shadows. The Shadow Queen gently asks you to address your innermost character flaws, but you have to do it with compassion. Now is the time to bring your wounded self, what do I say, and hidden agendas into the light. Speak your truth. You're seeing now the tangible results of the things that you've done in the past. Um, your response to the difficulties in your life. They've been a means to help you survive. Perhaps you're falling prey to insecurities masked by elitism and arrogance. So selling your soul to the devil. Believing that you know best, to comparing yourself with others, or to being fearful and self-sabotaging. You may have been taught that manipulating others rather than being direct is a way to get your needs met. The drama queen. Queen of Wands, wherever she's gone. There she is. Shadow Queen reminds you that manipulation in any form isn't the best method to get what you want. Another meaning that can also apply is the possibility that you are being affected by someone else's wounded self. <clears throat> Perhaps you are the one being manipulated. Whatever the case, it's time to take a fearless personal inventory. Observe what part you play in the dramas and potential disasters in your life. When you come to a place of humility, forgiveness and grace, then you may proceed again and walk into the light. Leave the misery of the past behind. <clears throat> there is great value and strength in facing your own shadow in the realm of the Shadow Queen. And finally, new beginnings. Life is a series of cycles. The fool begins another journey. And a time of rebirth is indicated for you. There we go. Rebirth. 
and the Emperor Rebirth. This means a new phase in relationships, the germination of fresh ideas, the development of qualities like laughter, light and hope. It may herald a total change. Do not be afraid to let go of the familiar, for the new cannot enter until the old and outworn has departed. Your angel guidance is to accept the new, for it will be welcome when it arrives. Birth is a vulnerable time. The fragile life force needs to be protected and nurtured within you. Ask the angels to guide the new beginnings in your life safely to maturity. Welcome and nurture the new in your life. So, new beginnings. Travel to the object of your desire, be the persons, things or events. Thanks for listening. Bye.